Say something meaningful. Say something I don't know. I wanna know you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn. This is Life with Jocelyn Christina. In today's video, we are going to be doing a six month house update. I'm gonna be showing you all of the things that I've noticed that may need to be fixed at the one year mark or by the one year mark since closing on my new home about six months ago. And then I'm just gonna be giving you some of my feedback or how I feel so far about being in my Ryan home at the six month mark. If this is your first time to my channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. And if you are returning, you've been here before, welcome back to my channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. All right guys, so we're gonna start by my front entryway area. So right here at the front door, I'm gonna turn the camera on and show you some of the things that I've noticed with the front entryway area that are concerning to me and that I would like to definitely have fixed or checked out at the one year mark or by the one year mark, so very soon. So let me go ahead and turn the camera on and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so one of the things I noticed, and I don't know if it might be better if I open the front door, but right here at the front entryway area, this flooring, um, actually it feels okay right now. Nope, it's still doing it. I don't know if you can see, but this flooring is like moving. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be moving it's kind of bubbled up a little bit right here so i noticed like i noticed this like a when was this probably about a month ago um i noticed that you know the flooring is kind of lifted a little bit here so this is something that i noticed since i closed in my house and that was just recently so that's definitely something that i want to have um fixed you know by the one year mark I don't know if this has happened to anybody else who has a Ryan home or just a new home in general. If so, please let me know down in the comments below how that worked out for you if you were able to get that resolved. All right, so we're gonna go to the next area of the home that I noticed some concerns. Okay, so the other thing is we are on the stairway leading up steps here to the bedrooms. Um, I noticed this also, this was like, when did I notice this? Probably like maybe two or three months ago. I don't know what this is, some kind of wire or something seems to have like come out from this, this side of the uh, railing of the steps. I don't know if it's supposed to go this way or that way. So this is the other thing that I've noticed that has um, stood out that needs to be fixed by the one year mark. Not really sure what happened there. Um, the other thing is, I don't know if you can see here, but just like some cracks here where the paint was sealed. Um, I'll try to get a little bit closer so you can see, but that is also something that I've seen throughout the house, like little cracks of paint there. And then if we go up the stairs a little bit more, some cracks I've noticed along here, um, right at the base of the stairway. So this is like something I've noticed a little bit throughout the house. It's not terrible, but I do notice that as well. And yeah, so let's go ahead and go to the next part of the okay, house. So we're upstairs in the hallway where the bedrooms are. The other thing that I noticed was up here at the ceiling. I don't even know if you can see that, but there's like some cracking of the paint there in the corner right there. Um, that's also something that I've noticed as well. So kind of cracks in the paint and nail pops as well. So I'm not gonna go through every nail pop in the whole house, but I just wanted to show you, like here's one for example. Um, I kind of wish I didn't actually paint my son's room already because of the nail pops. And I do think that, you know, maybe one should wait. Like if you're gonna paint your house, it, it's probably best to wait after one year to like paint your house because of, like I said, these nail pops. So those are um, visible throughout the house. And this is something that I will definitely have to have fixed by the one year mark as well. Yeah. We're in my master bedroom and um, this is something that I noticed also. So again, a little bit of cracking 
of the paint up here in the corner. And then also um, up here where the tray ceiling area is, I noticed that there's like a small separation between where the tray ceiling connects, that, that boarding connects there. So hopefully you can see that. That's also something I've noticed. And that's actually like around the tray ceiling area. That was just recent. Not as bad on this side of the ceiling. Definitely more noticeable right there on that part of the ceiling. And then like in the corner where the baseboards are in my master bedroom, also some cracking here between um, the boards where the paint is. So, you know, that will definitely need to be taken care of as well. We're at the top of the stairs now. And the other thing I noticed is just like the walls. Um, they are like a little dirty from, you know, just moving furniture upstairs and maybe brushing up against the walls. I don't know if you can see that, but it is like hard to clean these walls. I do find that like if you scrub a little bit too hard on these walls, the paint tends to come off. So I was told that flat paint, you know, is not the easiest to clean or wipe off. I do think that I will most likely repaint the entire house sometime in the future because you know, this type of flat paint, I think is not really best, like if you have kids or not even really kids, but if you're just gonna be moving, you know, around and you accidentally brush up against the walls, you know, you can easily get smudges everywhere. And so that has been a concern. So I'm hoping to paint the whole house, maybe of some type of other paint um, that will be easier to clean. Home Depot has like a lot of different levels of paint colors. And I believe like this flat paint is like one of the most basic types of paints that you can have. Um, and that makes it harder to clean. Now we're back downstairs on the main level. And this is the door or entry door into the basement here. I do notice like some of the knobs or some of the handles to the doors, they seem to be loose if you can see that so this is something that needs to be tightened or should be tightened um and i've noticed this like throughout the house like that is an issue with some of the doors now we're going to go downstairs into the basement all right so we're right here where the basement steps start so same thing as well on the lower level of the basement steps. So some cracking here along the base or the sides of where the steps are. That's something that definitely needs to be or should be fixed by the one year mark. All right guys, so that's pretty much all I see like as far as what little issues that I see in terms of like, you know, things that need to be fixed around the house. I don't really have a whole lot of issues um, which is a good thing. So just like I said, uh, mostly nail pops, a lot of little cracks in the baseboards that I mentioned um, along the lower base of the walls. And, you know, in my bedroom, you know, those cracks in the ceiling and also the base of the wall around. Not too many issues. I do, like I said, I am concerned about the paint, the type of paint that we have, this flat paint. It is really hard to clean. And if I rub a little too hard, it like really actually like removes the paint from the wall altogether. So that's an issue. So I do really want to try to, you know, paint the entire house a different type of paint. I think that will be better for us. That way, you know, if there's a smudge on the wall or something like that, it will be easier to clean off. As far as the outside of the home, no concerns there. I didn't really go, I already like actually went outside and took a look. So the outside of the home is okay. Everything still looks the same as when I close. Uh, as far as like the area, um, being in a new construction community, that has been challenging just because like, even though they finished building like all the houses in our community, it's been a little bit annoying with there's still construction of other things going on, like people's driveways getting paved, um, you know, that final one year mark, like, um, what do you call it? That top layer of the driveways 
getting paved here in Maryland. I'm not sure if it's like that in other Ryan Homes communities in other states, but here in Maryland, they do like a flat or a base like coating on your driveway and then they do a top coat. So that has been challenging or difficult because you know there'll be construction trucks in the way while you're trying to drive out of your community to leave or something like that. Mostly the construction is kind of annoying because I could be asleep in my bed and maybe want to relax and then I hear lots of loud boom, booming sounds. You know, you can hear the construction trucks. They're planting a lot of new trees outside or maybe wherever they dug up, you know, for construction for the new homes. They're trying to, you know, landscape and redo those areas. So that's been a little bit challenging to kind of just live through all of the construction noise. So I'm kind of just, you know, waiting and hoping for when they will finish, you know, all of the construction all together so we can just kind of really live in a quiet and peaceful community. The only other issue I had when I first closed on my house was the dishwasher. My dishwasher was leaking and I did contact Ryan Homes and they connected me with someone from the, uh, I think it's by GE Appliances. So they connected me with someone from the company that owns the appliances for the dishwasher and they were really really good customer service was great they sent someone out to my house to fix the dishwasher he was saying somehow another hose wasn't connected or something like that but that was the only other thing everything else has been working wonderfully in my house i haven't had any issues so i'm really grateful for that but yeah so that's pretty much it i just wanted to do a quick home six month home update with you all and let you know how the house is going at the six month mark and just what I've noticed thus far in the home that needs to be fixed or touched up by the one year mark and just like my overall feelings about the community and how everything is going. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. In Sunday's video, we will be going to Pottery Barn. I'm super excited for that. I hope you all are ready and excited to shop with me at Pottery Barn Outlet. I hope you all have your checklist of what you want to buy at Pottery Barn Outlet and also your walking sneakers so that we can just really enjoy ourselves and shop at Pottery Barn Outlet. So yeah, so that'll be on Sunday's video. So that will be uploaded for this upcoming Sunday's video. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to anyone who is purchasing a new construction house and kind of wants to get an idea of what it's like at the six month mark, you know, if there's any flaws or anything going on in the house with other, with other people's homes at the six month mark. I will see you all in the next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I will see you all on Sunday. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Say something meaningful. Say something I don't know.